This is a uh, 2005 model Sea Dew Challenger made by uh, Bombardier. Um, according to the diagnostic plug in on this, uh, this boat, she's got 120 hours on her, which is pretty low for a boat uh, made in 2005. You'll see there are some superficial scratches in the uh, the decal on the sign on both sides they don't appear to go through to the gel coat there's three cleats on each side fuel filler over here the uh, marks you see on the front here are uh, where the owner had a for sale sign taped to it a little bit of goo gone we'll take that right off It's got a stainless steel tow bar on it if you want to ski or tube behind her. It's the uh, air intake for the engine room. Swim platform. Good fold down ladder to get you on and off the boat. The jet drive unit. starboard side again we have some scratches uh, in the decal but uh, they may or may not go through the gel coat I think most of them don't a few of them might Maybe it's really hard to tell she's on a galvanized steel trailer manual winch as you can see the trailer it's in very good condition, very little rust on it anywhere, tires have good tread on them, lights are still in good condition. much of the bottom of the boat as you can see there don't appear to be any uh, scratches gouges doesn't look like she's been running ground a little bit of a shine mark where she rides up on the uh, on the carpet on the trailer all right let's climb a border okay we're getting a border now Take a good look at the uh, stainless steel tow bar for skiing or tubing or what have you. Seating in the back. I moved that cushion because I'm going to step on it right there. I didn't want to step on the cushion, but I'll put it back and show you what it looks like. Operator station, seating forward, passenger seating. Up forward we've got uh, two seats facing forward with cup holders and we've got a cushion in the middle here that comes out and there's some storage space underneath there going aft this cushion go in the middle and you can seat uh, actually four across there and there are four cup holders back there also. Grab rail on each side. This is the engine compartment. Very easy to open. It's got a hydraulic assist on it. In here, got the uh, supercharged uh, Fortec engine connected to the jet drive. Oil reservoir up there. Also here on the stern, we've got a couple of storage compartments. Open those up for you. Got one on each side. The one over here on the port side has the battery in it. I hope it's not too dark for you to see as well as the uh, electrical panel and the battery switch over here 
you can see down into the bilge one on the starboard side is strictly storage the operator station we got a padded wheel throttle and uh, shift controls cup holder and uh, you got your gauge cluster with uh, speedometer and tachometer fuel gauge and then warning lights for the uh, electrical system the water temperature and the oil pressure and then your uh, switch panel for your uh, running lights cabin lights we've also got a uh, panoramic mirror here so you can see the skier behind you while you're driving this is the um, storage compartment in front of the passenger seat and storage down below and then you've got your uh, AM FM CD player mounted in there also some small storage compartments you know on the side of the boat um, cockpit lighting up forward and then you've got this large hatch here that opens up into storage. The owner's got the anchor in there, an umbrella. All in all, nice little boat. She moves pretty quick. Just needs a good wash down.